Okay, keep the applause going for our next act, Mr. Matt Reese. <laughs> Hello Cardiff, are we all well? Yeah. Uh, hello front row. Um, I like to get all of my audience participation out of the way at the start. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I think it's gone quite well tonight. Uh, my name is Matt. I'm from a town called My Stage. Uh, e e geography. Uh, uh, I've been trying to think of the best way to describe the town I come from, so here it is. Uh, we have a local shop where for three pounds you can buy a multi-pack of crisps and a flagon of cider, and with no apparent irony, they call that the meal deal. <laughs> so I used to be a Christian, and the Christian youth centre I went to arranged an event that was called the Tramp Supper which uh, was an experience for me, because I was 11 and I'd never tried heroin before. <laughs> uh, so, I'm a student, I've been a student for about two years now. Uh, I used to study psychology, but I don't anymore because I didn't like it. And I, I know what you're thinking. Well, actually I don't, because... Well then. <laughs> uh, I can tell you the most studenty thing I've ever seen anyone do, if you like. Uh, the other day I walked home and my roommate was in the living room eating a lasagna out of an empty DVD box. <laughs> um, I live in a student house and we don't want to pay for a TV license, so I watch a lot of BBC iPlayer, which is like uh, the TV but on a computer. Uh, but I definitely need to get a license next year because it's made me really impatient because anything I'm not enjoying I can just skip. Uh, I was watching Sport Relief, which is a brilliant charity, and they just finished a funny bit. They were moving on to an appeal, and the presenter looked at the camera and said, what were you doing when you were 12 years old? Well, I bet you weren't cooking, cleaning, and caring for both of your parents. Well, you're about to meet an extraordinary boy who does. I was just sitting there on my laptop thinking, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> he, he, no, he sounds dull. Skip, I play. Skip. I want to watch Gary Lineker try cheese rolling. <laughs> okay, so one useless byproduct of university life is that I'm now a sweaty, fat, lazy bastard. I don't know if you've noticed that. Yeah. Uh, I was in Tesco, and it's fair to say I had a guilty trolley. I, was, I had milk and fruit and everything. I'd essentially gone to Tesco to buy booze and pizzas. Uh, essentially, the healthiest thing in my trolley was razor blades. <laughs> and I, I really hope I'm not the only person who does this. Um, if I do have a trolley full of junk food, I will go out of my way to find the fattest cashier, <laughs> as if we're going to share some sort of silent understanding. <laughs> um, uh, my favourite aisle in Tesco is the booze aisle, because it's a bit like Amazon.com. Uh, uh, bear with me. Uh, in between all the drinks, they've put non-alcoholic items that they think you might like as well. So it's a bit like, if you like Smirnoff, you may like peanuts, Nurofen, condoms. They've... <laughs> They've pretty much planned your night ahead of you there, haven't they? <laughs> and and when I say oh, when I say Nurofen condoms, I mean Nurofen and condoms. You know, I don't think Nurofen make condoms. Uh, although that would be good. Oh, not tonight, love. I've got a headache. Okay, <laughs> yeah. uh, I want to show you my phone because it's uh, a shit phone. I used to have a good phone, now I have a shit phone. Uh, can you give me a cheer if you have an iPhone or Blackberry? Yeah. yeah. Right, you know, autocorrect. Sometimes you end up sending the wrong word in the text. Oh, this is worse because it only recognize, it recognizes words that I've Googled. So if I type in FA, you'll go, Facebook! Facebook! You wanted, you wanted Facebook, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Phone do good? Yeah, phone do good. Well done. And, but... But the other day, um, I stayed at my nan's after a gig, and she sent me a nice text. She said, it was nice seeing you yesterday. I love you. 
which is nice. And uh, the next day, uh, the text I sent back read, thanks for letting me stay. I love you, porn too. <laughs> no phone, bad! <laughs> okay, uh, lots of young male stand-ups put time aside in their act to point out that they're not very good with women. Uh, of course, with me, this is slightly obvious, so we'll just skip to the example, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was in HMV buying a DVD and the girl behind the till signed in with her thumb I said, oh, did that till just read your thumbprint? She said, yeah I said, oh, that's pretty good that's uh, easier than typing in a pin every time and then I said uh, suppose if I wanted to rob this place I'd have to cut your thumb off <laughs> You see, to me, that's small talk, but uh, I think I unnerved her. Okay, uh, I wanted to talk about alcohol. Do we have any fans in the room? Yeah. Uh, I've had to cut down on drinking recently because, uh, you know, when you get drunk, you lose your inhibitions. You say something you think is true, but you learn to regret. I said something I'll probably regret for the rest of my life. I, I said that you were a terrible mother. Hmm. I, I didn't say it to my mother. It was this lady in McDonald's and she couldn't control her kids and he was pissing me off. <laughs> the only reason I'll regret it for the rest of my life is because her baby stabbed me. <laughs> um, okay, the real reason I've cut down on drinking, if you're interested, is I'm on medication for panic attacks. And uh, my doctor said, you can't drink on these. And I said, why? He said, because, Matt, it'll make one pint feel like you've had about ten. And I said, oh, right, and uh, what's the bad news? Because, you know, I'm a student, that's really economical. Why didn't I know about that before? Uh, in shops, you should be able to buy individual cans of lager with little sachets of medication, uh, like salt and shake for piss heads. <laughs> Okay, I wanted to finish up talking about hecklers. You've been really nice, but I've had a few spats with hecklers in the past few weeks. Um, I don't deal with confrontation very well. I've only ever been in one fight in my life, and uh, I won it, but that's not the point. It was in nursery. So, uh, I'll explain what happened. There was this kid. He was a bully. I had a packet of crisps, and uh, he took them off me, and he snatched them, and I and then tread on them. And uh, I just remember getting more angry than I'd ever been in my life. And I grabbed the side of his head and I started hitting him on top of the head as hard as I could. And uh, he started to cry. And then I started to cry. And uh, then we were on, uh, right next to this slide and I started hitting his head into that. <laughs> and then he fell to the floor. And uh, only then did the lady in charge intervene. It shouldn't even have happened. I was only there to pick up my nephew. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you on that. I'm Matt Reese. Thank you very much.